The big one here is misfire possible catalyst damage. In certain temperatures, certain loads, the charge air cooler will develop moisture inside. When the amount of moisture gets to a certain point and it gets drawn into the induction system, it's going to make it to the combustion process and result in a misfire. Usually it's in six geared engine lugging. We start to get a buck, a jerk, a misfire. Check engine light will be flashing. The cure that we want to look at here from Ford, the first thing you want to check, does this have the latest upgraded charge air cooler? And as you can see, it's got a part number, but you'll know right away because it ends in Alpha AE. Make sure if you have a customer complaint of this that they have the latest revision in the hardware, which is the charge air cooler, which does come with a reflash with the upgraded charge air cooler. An addendum to the TSB was to remove this upper cover on the charge air cooler and to add a cover on the lower part or an air deflector. Now, I'm not a big fan of this because I know that a charge air cooler, I want it to be at its maximum efficiency. Blocking off a portion of the charge air cooler is going to reduce its efficiency. Again, we're right back to the law of physics that says every 10 degrees of temperature increase is a 1% reduction in horsepower. Now, the aftermarket has come to the rescue here. You can see a comparison of the stock intercooler versus an aftermarket intercooler here. And as we look at this, there's a note here that on this aftermarket fix for the 3.5 F-150 EcoBoost, there's an eighth inch pipe vent, which allows condensation to automatically drain from the intercooler. The port can be plugged using an eighth inch NPT plug. So we're going to drain that if it does form before it makes its way into the induction system and causes a misfire. And in some rare cases, the misfire is so detrimental that we end up with damaged catalytic converters.